Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Macmillan. Thank you for joining me again today. And today I'm going to have an important scientific discussion about rhymes with pectin. Sadly, we're still living in a time where I can't actually say what I mean, and you will have to stretch your imagination to know what I am talking about. But for me, from a scientific point of view, this is absolutely critical. This was a huge breakthrough. And I was one of the people who was, as I describe, on the side, observing the discussion about rhymes with pectin. And the reason was simple. I was interested in the science. What was the science? If it did work, the question is why? Because if you can understand the mechanism, then it allows you to be able to find other things that can additionally work. Because suppose someone for whatever reason is either unable to get rhymes with pectin or they can't take it for some reason. Does it mean that they don't have a therapy? That's not necessarily wise or good in the context of clinical medicine. But I was very excited, just like this girl. She as well is very excited about what I think is an incredible breakthrough with regards to understanding the mechanism of rhymes with pectin. Sadly, I'm going to have to do this in two parts. If you are live with me, you will be able to see the full explanation but otherwise, you will have to join me on Substack to try and understand what this is about. And remember on Substack, that's where I have all these posts, podcasts and videos since March 2020. And this is what I've been focused on, the research around it. But it raises some very important questions. And I'm going to show you another picture. I can't say the words, but you have to ask yourself, if rhymes with pectin actually works and other drugs as well could have a similar impact that could be politically incorrect to discuss, would our political leadership or our decision makers be willing to make the difference, to make the change for the benefit of people, for the benefit of patients? That's really the question. Some people may ask themselves, well, the pandemic is over. Well, it depends on where you are in the world. Here I have a picture showing the pandemic hope and the pandemic reality. Just because you are not testing doesn't mean that COVID is not circulating. If, however, you are in Africa, that's a different question. This is what Biden had said in September, and the only place that seemed to be or should be have been relaxed at that time was here in Africa. Everywhere that has read indicated where the pandemic was still circulating. And what that highlights is that there is a problem with regards to neutralizing Omicron in highly vaccinated regions. And when I go on to discuss the reason or the mechanism that rhymes with pectin works, I'll also explain why we have this constant circulation in highly vaccinated regions. It's all about the science. And here is the important bit. If we don't deal with elephants in the room, if we are unable to challenge and face them, if we are unable to acknowledge them, we are unlikely to find solutions within the pandemic. And that's what we should be focused on. Without these kinds of solutions, the impacts longer term for patients could be horrendous. Remember, all this news that you're hearing talking about COVID having these impacts, they are correct. But in theory, it shouldn't happen because COVID shouldn't still be circulating. Our problem is partially to do with the virus. The other part is the fact that we can't seem to achieve herd immunity in certain parts of the world. And understanding why that's occurring is extremely important. And rhymes with pectin is going to have part of the answer. But here is the question. Would those decision makers, if it meant that they had to acknowledge a mistake, would they actually change what they're doing? 
That's really the big question. Because if they wouldn't, if they would rather to see people suffer and die than to face what could be a solution in the context of an ever evolving pandemic in highly vaccinated parts of the world, would they be willing to do that? That's really the question that we have to answer. And that's hopefully something that people will be honest enough to face to. So I hope that you have found this valuable. And if you are live with me, I'll go on to explain the principles about rhymes with pectin. Otherwise, you'll need to join me on Substack. Look forward to sharing more information with you in the near future.